Well, people in a Mandarin neighborhood are fighting to keep a proposed waste transfer station out of their community. Yeah, the station would go right behind the tree line of the Greenland Chase neighborhood. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller is joining us live outside South Point Community Church, where a meeting is actually happening tonight. Brittany, neighbors say that they do not want this facility near their homes. Jen Bruce, good morning. They do not, and they've been very vocal about it. They say, we've been listening to neighbors say that this waste transfer station could risk their health, air quality, and odor issues, could drop their real estate values. And tonight, neighbors have a chance to come here to continue to make their voices heard here at the church. Neighbors from a Mandarin subdivision are fighting to get one of the city's trash haulers, Waste Pro, to find another place to build a waste transfer facility, meaning a place where trash haulers can dump their load into a bigger truck that will go to the landfill so they can quickly go back to their routes. No Jacksonville residents should be forced to sacrifice their health for this project. Dozens of neighbors wearing red filled the chambers of the city council meeting earlier this week, including Ashley Reed. They are asking city leaders not to change the zoning that would allow the facility to go right behind the tree line of the Greenland Chase neighborhood or in any other community. As a mother of three, this is not what I want my or anybody's developing children growing up not by. There certainly are alternative sites and other solutions that do not impose irreparable damage to the residents and citizens of this city. The proposed station could be the solution to a problem the city's faced for years, as thousands of Jacksonville residents have been complaining about trash haulers missing pickups for weeks at a time, and in some cases, missing an entire street. The News for Jack's I team found the city had more than 79,000 complaints in little over a year. This was being proposed as a way to address um, collection issues throughout the southeastern part of the county. Councilman Danny Becton is hosting a community meeting about the waste transfer station tonight to let neighbors voices be heard. I don't want anybody in the audience thinking that there's a chance that re this really will see any light of day in June. The community meeting is happening here at the South Point Community Church. It starts at 530 and runs until 7. Check in is at 5 p.m. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.